One of the most important things that we have to do in being relational is demonstrating to students and letting them know that we care about them and that we are invested in their success, particularly at a time in which we find ourselves now, right? So part of what we can do in building relationships is first and foremost humanizing ourselves, right? Talking with students and sharing with students things about ourselves, personal information perhaps, information about our background, information about our experiences that they may find insightful in order to reduce these, these artificial barriers that often exist between students and faculty. And it's even important to do this even in an online environment and an online context. We also must be willing to engage with students on both academic matters, so matters that are related to the course and the content in which we're teaching, but we cannot overlook and miss opportunities to engage with students on non-academic matters as well. Because it's these non-academic matters and these conversations on which relationships are based and formed. We often share that it would be important for faculty to learn at least one thing about each student in their course that has nothing to do with them being a student. So their name, perhaps their hometown, uh, hobbies and activities that they, that they enjoy doing, special talents that they may have, uh, you know, favorite books, favorite movies, music artists, whatever it may be. And Luke mentioned earlier that it would be good to perhaps share a one minute video about yourself and perhaps uh, you can use this as an early assignment for students to do, um, give them options if they're gonna do it, either they can, they can do it in a short video or maybe in, in some, other, some other way of doing it. And we encourage faculty to do the same thing as well as some of the first ways in which we can start, build, start early uh, efforts to build relationships with students. We also have to convey what's called unconditional positive regard. And this concept comes from some of the counseling theory work in which we really have to see ourselves, uh, see our students as being fully capable of being successful and that we have to engage them and approach them in very non-judgmental ways. Um, part of what we have to do also is reject deficit perspectives about students. We all have them, we all have our concepts, and we've all been socialized as educators to think about student success in a particular way or to think about uh, what a successful student looks like in a particular way. And now more than ever, we have to be very intentional about rejecting those ideas and rejecting those concepts about students' intellectual capabilities or their quote unquote fit for college. We also know from the work of Lauren and Doan that validation is really important, particularly for students who've been underserved in education. Validation and positive messaging are absolutely critical, especially at a time like this. So students have to hear on a consistent basis that they belong here, that we believe that they can do the work and do what we're asking them to do, that they can be successful, that they have the ability to do what's expected of them and that they're intelligent. And think about this, for many of our underserved students, you might be the first educator that ever said this to them. And these are not just things that you have to say to students, we can use opportunities when we're providing feedback on assignments or something. Um, if a, a student does a really good job of, of unpacking a concept, um, Using, using those as opportunities to validate students, validate their abilities um, in order to be both their effort and their ability to be successful. And above all, students have to know that we have high expectations for them, that we expect them to do well, um, that we're going to be disappointed when they don't do well, um, not only disappointed in, in themselves, but also disappointed in us and our, in, in our performance as educators and preparing them um, to be successful and to do well.